hi guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be cutting and sewing a wrap top with short sleeve please subscribe like and share thank you in making a wrap top the material that i use are ankara material a scissors a chalk a tape and a ruler I started by folding one part of the material. I will begin by making the back bodice pattern. For the neck width, I measured 3 inches. And for the neck depth, I measured 1.5 inches. I made a curve with my free hand. You can go down by 2 inches or 3 inches depending on what you want. My shoulder measurement is 16 inches. I divided 16 inches by 2 which gives me 8 inches. Then I marked. Then I came down by 1 inch for the shoulder slope. I used my ruler to draw a straight line connecting the two points for the shoulder slope. For my armhole, I divided my bust measurement, which is 40 by 6, plus 2, which gives me 8.7, then I marked. I use my ruler to draw a line across, which is a chest line. Then I use my ruler to draw a vertical line, connecting the shoulder line and the chest line. So I looked for the midpoint of the line by dividing my tape into two, then I marked. My round boss measurement is 40, so I divided 40 by 4, which gives me 10. Then I marked on the chest line. Plus 1 inch allowance. I use my tailor's curve to make a curve from the midpoint of the vertical line to the point at the chest line. From my shoulder line to my waistline is 18 inches, then I marked. I use my ruler to draw a vertical line across. My waist measurement is 38 inches. I divided 38 inches by 4, which gives me 9.5. Then I marked. Plus 1 inch allowance. So the full length for this wrap top is 20 inches. Plus 1 inch for folding. I marked 21 inches. I use my ruler to draw a line across the marked point. I connected the side points with my ruler. Then I use my scissors to cut out the marked line.
Now I fold one part of the material again. Then I place the back bodice pattern on top of the material that I folded. Then I use the chalk to trace the armhole and the shoulder line. I use my tape to measure out 6 inches for the front neck. You can go down by 7 inches or 8 inches if you want the bust to be revealing, depending on what you want. Then I use my ruler to connect the two points together. At the downside of the Ankara material that I folded, I went up by 6 inches and marked. The width of the folded material that I used is 20 inches. So I made a curve with my free hand, connecting the two points, just as I'm doing in the video. For the front armhole, I divided my armhole into two, which is 4.3, then I marked. I went in by 0 0.5 inch and marked. I use my tailor's curve to connect all the points together, just as I'm doing in the video. If you want to understand more on how I draft my armhole, I will put the link on my description box below. On the previous video, I did a basic body pattern. So I use my scissors to cut out the marked line. This is how it looks like after I have cut the material. So I will go ahead and cut out the belt I will add to the side of the material. Now I am folding the material for the sleeve length. The sleeve length will be a short one. My round upper arm measurement is 14 inches, which I divided by 2. It gives me 7 inches plus 1 inch allowance. Then I marked down 4 inches for the armhole depth. This makes the arm to move freely. So I made a curve, just as I'm doing in the video. I used my ruler to draw a vertical line connecting the point and the curve. So I use my tape to check if it is up to the length of my armhole, which is 8.7 inches plus 1 inch allowance, that is 9.7 inches. You can check if it is up to 9.7 inches before drawing the vertical line. Then I use my scissors to cut out the marked line. Now I looked for the middle of the armhole, then I marked. I went in by 0 0.5 inch and marked. So I made a curve connecting the new point, just as I'm doing in the video. Then I used my scissors to cut out the new marked line.
So this is the front armhole and this is the back armhole. You can go to my previous video on how I made a sleeve pattern. I'll leave the link in my description box below. Now I have added the belt which is about 20 inches long and 6 inches width which I am going to use to tie to the back. So for the other side of the material, I will repeat the same by adding the belt. This is the back bodice pattern. So I place the front wrap together with the two wrong side facing each other. So I place the shoulder line together using my office pin just as I'm doing in the video. Now I'll go to my sewing machine and sew down the shoulder line. So for one end of the belt, I will double fold it and sew round to the neck and to the other belt. So I have sewn round the material. It is now time to place the sleeve. I use my scissors to give it a notch at the middle of the sleeve. So I will know where to attach to the shoulder of the top. The part where I marked F is where I will place at the front armhole of the top. I place together the middle of the sleeve to the shoulder line of the top. Then I use my office pin to join them together just as I'm doing in the video. I'll repeat this process to the other armhole of the wrap top. Now I'll go to my sewing machine and sew it all the way around the armhole. After I sew it all the way around the armhole, this is how it looks like. I also double fold the edge of the sleeve just as in the video. I will go to my sewing machine and sew from the side of the sleeve to the side of the wrap top, taking about one inch all the way down. I will repeat the same process for the other side of the wrap top. For the hem of the top, I will double fold it and sew all the way around. So this is the result, a wrap top with a short sleeve. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Lily Fashion Apparel for more videos. Thank you.